Uh, Michael says, was expecting more differentiation between Sam Darnold and Trey Lance. Hope Trey Lance would be the clear number two. Did not hear that, that this was the case in OTAs and minicamp. I'll, I'll say definitively, there was no differentiation. And if anybody paints any, I think they have an agenda. I, I, I really... I think Trey is the, that's the best I've every time I see Trey, he looks a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit more accurate, uh, a little bit more. Um, he's having a lot more fun. Um, the ball, he's throwing better spirals every day. He's throwing more consistent. Um, he, to me, he looks better every time I see him. Darnold does throw a very good ball, but, um, I don't, but other than he throws a good ball and he, and he's got a nice deep, deep ball with a, you know, he's, he's throwing a couple of nice deep balls. He, his timing sometimes is a little off and it seems like as the, as the reps go on, his accuracy wanes. If there's any common denominator or any theme that I've seen of these practices is that as the practice goes on and as the linemen come on the field and as there's a little bit more pressure around the quarterback's feet. His accuracy seems like it goes, it diminishes as the practice goes on. That's the only thing I can say. Um, And um, so I I don't see a clear differentiation between the two. I think if we're going to see that, we're going to see that in preseason. You know what I mean? In preseason, when they're out there, I think you'll see, you know, if some separation, because then it's, it's not practice. It's not a quite as controlled environment. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but in, in practice, the only themes I see is that Trey, when he, some of Trey's misses are way worse than any of Sam's misses, but then Sam's overall accuracy. If there's any consistent theme, seems like it, it suffers a little bit as practice goes on. What do you make of it? I don't know, but that's, those are the only two observations I would have. Otherwise they're both about, you know, six, three, six, four throw pretty good, drive the ball with some velocity, um, pretty much on target. I don't, I'm not seeing it's, it's not, it's not clear. It's not, there's not, the only thing that's clear is that Brandon Allen's arm strength is not in their caliber of arm strength. <laughs> right. Um, he, he, and he does throw some wobble balls too. I mean, he's had a couple balls in the last couple practices that were really, you know, high speed wobbles, very difficult to catch. But then also he's had some dimes where it's just been like, wow, who threw that? It's like, you see the pass, you're watching the drill. And then all of a sudden you're focusing on the receiver and then you got to go back and be like, that was, that was a flat dime. Who threw that? Oh, it was Brandon Allen. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't know. I, I don't know what to make of it. Um, but it's that to me is the only thing that I I can take away from practice is that Trey hit the back wall one time uh, and he missed a guy by a ton. One time he hurled it into the ground. So his misses have been, you know, he's had he's he's missed by more. But I would say Darnold's probably missed more often. So I don't know. It, you know, what I mean, it's not something. It's six of one, half dozen, half dozen of another of another, and you know what I mean. It's it's just very comparable, and I don't see a real separation. Uh, in that competition at all. Yeah. And, and I think what you're saying is basically what everybody else has said. It's interesting because this is the best that Trey's looked that two, two themes have come out of this thing. This is the best that Trey's looked. Everybody's echoed that, but the difference between him and Sam at this point is, is not very big. And this was, this was kind of my concern going into it that a lot of, I, I don't know what the 49ers are thinking. And I would assume, like, let's say Purdy doesn't play week one, okay? And they're trying to figure out, who do we play? I, before this whole thing started, I could definitely see a scenario where Sam Darnold's good in practice. He's been around for longer. He knows how this goes. He's a veteran. And he's not a horrible player by any means. He's got talent for sure. So I could see a scenario where he's, you know, right there with Trey. To me, if they're even, then Trey's got to be given the nod. Because you don't know what you have in Trey from a game standpoint. But the fact that you would even pull starter reps away from Trey for Sam Darnold and a guy, regardless of how they practice, for a guy that you, we know much more what Sam Darnold is than Trey Lance. 
and the investment in Trey Lance is is much higher. So the fact that you would even open up Pandora's box there, that's kind of where my issue came in. But th- but this thought that Trey Lance was just going to come in and blow Sam Darnold out, who's a veteran, who has a, a ton of skill sets himself. I, I mean, I don't know if there was ever a world that that was really going to exist. I think if that was your thought, um, then maybe going into it, your expectations were out of whack, at least in my opinion, because my expectations were always, yeah, I bet you this thing could be close, but does it really matter? Does that mean you should even consider going with Sam Darnold? Does that even mean that you should give reps to Sam Darnold and, and take them away from Trey? Absolutely not. So that was kind of my expectation going into it. So I'm not, I'm not surprised by anything. The other thing that is, you know, and I, I won't throw anybody under the bus, but somebody asked Steve Wilkes, at the end of yesterday, which was the final day of the final mini camp, training camp is next. If they've done their if if they've done their installs yet, and Steve looked at him like, "Oh yeah, we did the installs in in the first day. You know, we installed on the first day, and we've just been reinforcing it ever since." And it was such a and I, I don't I don't remember, and it doesn't matter who asked the question, but it's such a revealing disconnect between you don't know what you're watching. You're so far removed from, you don't realize that he's got a defense. He's making, they're making calls out there. They're communicating back and forth. You were right there. I mean, that to me was like, that's, I don't know. I mean, to me, it's like, it's amazing that there could be media people who would think that you would not install your defense or your offense before training camp, none. You know, I mean, then what do you think all this is? You know, so I, I that was like, and I'm not ripping the guy because it's you know what the hell, but um, it just it, I'm just saying that the people that are reporting back on what they're seeing don't re- even realize that an offense and a defensive uh, game plan, not game plan, but uh, an offense and a defensive plan overall for the season is not being implemented the, the entire time we're out here and they're asking if it's still to come in training camp and steve looked at him like oh no 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 we we did that in phase one you know and this is we're now getting ready for training camp i mean these guys already know the offense they know the defense they and we've asked questions of other players where they've talked about you know different aspects of things kind of revealing that fact and i don't know where that person was so i'm just saying that there's a lot of people out there covering this that are there and they're watching it, but they're not really there. You know what I mean? They're like so far away from football and pro football in the process that they're not really understanding a hundred percent what they're watching. Um, not yeah. too critical, but I mean, that's, no, de- definitely. That's, see, and I, that's very revealing. Is that not revealing? 